So this week my 8 years old brother kept asking for two of whatever we gave him for lunch for egg two sandwiches and whatnot. My mom didn't think anything of it. So this afternoon a parent approached her and thanked her for sending lunch for her son while she was in the hospital. When Cristiano Ronaldo was asked to donate his cleats for a charity auction benefiting a 10 month old child suffering from a brain disorder, he instead paid the whole $83,000 for his surgery and gave the kid the cleats so the kid wouldn't have to sell them. I like how he's happy in both. 6 years, 4 major changes, 2 degrees, 1 minor and a lot of sleepless nights later. I'm out to here. I don't know what's going on. Figured it out. Simba is finally done with his radiation. 18 days over 4 weeks, and he's just glad to be home. As I stood in line tonight at the public library, I watched as the clerk told a little girl she couldn't check out a book because she owed a $0.29 fine. Then I watched the teenage boy behind her dig in his pockets for some change and pay it for her. And then I felt better about the world. Parenting achievement. I got my first I'm never talking to you again today. By the way it lasted less than 10 seconds. And then she made me a bead bracelet that says I love daddy. You have to be stubborn when you're depressed. You have to be like no f you. I'm staying alive. Every day is an act of rebellion. An invisible fight. And when it's over you are the person who defied a monster. You can feel more alive than before. You just did the impossible. If you wake up while McDonald's is still serving breakfast then you're doing good. Doesn't McDonald's have all day breakfast now? If you wake up at all then you're doing good. And if asked you to name all the things that you love, how long would it take for you to name yourself? You have to make a toy all kids hate. What do you make? It's already been made. Plastic keys. Babies dump that sh immediately in search of the real deal. Completely unrelated, but this reminded me of a story. When my sister was younger, she brought my dad one of these plastic keys and told him it was the key to her heart. He kept it on his dresser and occasionally would joke with her that he'd take her heart out at night and play with it. At her wedding my dad got up and told everyone that story and then called her husband up and have him the plastic key. Like I said, completely unrelated, but it's a story I really enjoy. I may be straight, but I don't hate. I'll be out there working at Prudafest today wearing this shirt under my uniform for a lot of reasons for my stepbrother. For my priest. For my aunts who died before they could be legally married. For my cousin. For all of the cops I have worked with over the years, including one of the best partners I've ever shared a sector car with. For my classmate in high school whose parents made him sleep in a tent in his yard. For the man who cried on my shoulder about losing his partner on 9-11. For every call I went to where someone got kicked out of their house or whose family just didn't understand. For anyone who's had to hide who they are. I've got your back. Love is love. Ohio named Shelter Pets the official state pet to raise awareness about animal adoption. Shelter Pets are now the official state pet of Ohio. A two year old couldn't walk on his own. So a high school robotics team built him a customized toy car. Thanks to some Farmington high school students, Cillian Jackson gets around more easily. CNN. Due to a genetic condition, Cillian Jackson, too, can't walk. But the Minnesota boy now motors around in style, thanks to some enterprising students at his local high school. It all started when Cillian's physical therapist told his parents about a program called Go Baby Go, which provides modified toy cars to children with limited mobility. They looked into it, but there wasn't a Go Baby Go chapter near the Jackson family's home in Farmington. And motorized wheelchairs can cost more than $1,000. The students accepted the challenge. Using plans and models from Go Baby Go, they got to work, modifying a Power Wheels toy car to fit little Cillian and give him more freedom in his movements. Everyone. So you think by being positive and always posting positive things you can help bring levity to those in need? Yeah boy. Studies. Your pupils expand when you see someone you love. Me seeing Imgurian's comment on all of my wholesome posts. 
Today a stranger took a picture of my boyfriend dropping off breakfast to me at work, then came back to my job to give me the photo. There's a mattress store that gives you a mattress for your dog when you buy a normal one. At 14 I saw my mom crying about our only car being repossessed. This felt good. Merry Christmas mom. My granddad just called me to tell me how big these cauliflowers are growing. And it was so cute they're twice as big as the ones you get in the shop. Told my granddad this post has 3500 notes. And he said who are they? Do I know them? He wanted me to list everyone. And see if he knew anyone. If you don't reblog cauliflower granddad, then you're just a mean person. Photo 1 and 2 were taken way before we had even met each other. Now, photo 3, we found our other half to ride Space Mountain with. Stay in bed all day. Stuff my feelings down. Read Mr. Puckett's wholesome post, and remember I have a limited amount of days and I would love to make this one count, but if what I really need is a mental health day I know myself well enough to take it. On Valentine's Day my boyfriend gave me roses and said I'll love you till the last one dies. And it wasn't until a couple of days later that I realized one was fake and will never die. I mentioned one time to a friend that when I was young, I traveled on planes out due to parents being divorced, and I always had a special place in my heart for those little bags of peanuts. Two years later, she still saves her airplane peanuts and gives them to me in bulk when I see her. We live far apart, and it is really sweet she thinks of me and remembered a little thing like that. Now it's our special thing. I failed. I stepped on the first stone to success. Good morning happy people of Inga, after going through this post, you must be, right? It's my birthday, my baby is smiling and cooing, and my mother just sent me some of her excess meds, so my pain is a little more in control than normal. Today is a good day. Happy birthday, sunshine. As a fellow pain sufferer, I ask you to send me your pain, as noon should suffer on their birthday. My sister-in-law proposed to my brother. She took some photos of his work stuff. He's a firefighter, so his last name is on everything, and put them on canvas. She convinced him to drive to one of their favorite places with this mystery box. When she finally got him to focus on the box, she pulled out the pictures and asked what the theme was. When he guessed his last name, she pulled out a paper saying you stole my heart, can I steal your last name? He was pretty stoked. He was really excited that she asked and said yes. When he told us, the family, he said he's relieved because proposing to her never crossed his mind. He was so content he would have never thought of change. This is adorable. Don't get into the habit of postponing happiness. It'll be happy after the promotion, after the proposal, after the admission. But what about the here and the now? A simple breakfast can be happiness. An afternoon nap can be sheer joy. When I was 7 years old, my dad deployed to Afghanistan. At the time, I was really invested in the Harry Potter book series. My father recorded himself reading the next two chapters of the book, so I could listen to audiobooks from my favorite series, read by my dad, while he was away. That was truly the best, love that man to bits and this made it easier to cope with him being away for that long. So was at the airport with my sister, and we had excess baggage charges, but we didn't have enough money to pay for it. Luckily though Keanu Reeves was on the same board as us, and ended up paying for everything. I downloaded Pokemon Go to see what all the hype was about walked outside, and there was one of the critters on my back porch, sitting on one of the patio chairs I lobed a ball at him, and caught him. He's a little blue fella named Squirtle. My grandma downloaded Pokemon Go this is so pure. Being happily married is like having a sleepover with your best friend every night for the rest of your life. Giggle behind blanket. So, who do you have a crush on? Wife, for f's sake. My neighbor, 9 to 10, just knocked at my door and asked if she could borrow my skateboard because she sees me on it every day. She said her parents couldn't afford one. You best believe I gave her my old penny board. Boy my heart. She was so happy. 